I was 16 years old when I first found out I was pregnant. I was sick, so I had to go to the doctors, and that's how I found out I was pregnant. And at that time, I was scared. It was kind of frightening, kind of embarrassing to be pregnant at 16. My mother wasn't around, so that didn't help either. I was 15 years old when I met Shannon. I was living at, uh, in an apartment with my brother. My parents had moved out of state, so they allowed me to stay at, at my brother's. Eventually, I moved out of my brother's apartment and moved into an apartment with Shannon. But it was just Shannon and I. I didn't have anyone to talk with and seek out advice. I was 26 years old when I found out that I was going to have a baby. I was broken, in a broken place. I was low. I didn't have a job. I had no idea what my future looked like. I had made several bad choices in my life, and this pregnancy was a complete surprise. Um, had no idea. I had no no idea how I was going to raise a baby alone, but it was time for me to make a lot of decisions and that's exactly what I did. I borrowed the money to buy the pregnancy test and a friend of mine that, that loaned me the money helped me make my first appointment with my OBGYN. I didn't even have health insurance. I had to, I had to apply for health insurance. Um, there was many things that came into place that I had never thought that you would need. When you, would, when you would have a baby and when you found out you were pregnant. I went to my OB appointment first time alone. I remember being scared to death, but I also remember being in that room with, with couples that were so happy about their pregnancy. And I felt so ashamed to think that this was a hard thing for me when they were so happy about it. But it didn't take long for me to have an ultrasound and see that this baby was was a living, beautiful person that was going to be a part of me, and I was so excited. We never, never thought about having an abortion. Never even knew what that was. That was never on the table. It was really, really scary. Just. He was three years older than me, so he was only 19 at the time, and he didn't have a support system really. Going to the doctor's appointments, they don't really, they didn't really tell you, okay, this is what's going to happen, this is what your body's going to be doing. Uh, didn't really give me any information. And then being being a teenager myself, I wasn't really going to like ask. I I didn't know what to ask. <laughs> I was just learning as I went. It's scary to think about, okay, well, the pain and what am I going to go through and just very emotional. When I went into labor at 11 p.m. Thursday night, and so Shannon took me to the emergency and they said, yes, you have to stay. Shannon stayed for a little while, but he had to go to work the next day, so he had to go home. So here I was, 16 years old, at the hospital all by myself in labor. Um, the nurses weren't very nice. And then the next morning, all day on Friday until 2.52 in the afternoon when Brittany was born, um, I was there pretty much by myself. Going into labor without my mother or sister or any friend, I mean, it was kind of sad just being alone. Lonely. It was lonely. Um, again, the nurses weren't compassionate and they weren't friendly so it was just going alone. On October the 24th 1996 I had a beautiful baby boy. Um, I drove myself to the hospital. I drove myself home from the hospital with him. He was in my back seat and I remember thinking it's just me and you. We are here. We are together as mom and, and son. And I was so proud and so thankful that I had a healthy child. But I was so scared. I didn't have a job. I didn't have a place to live except for with my mother. So whenever I got home with my mother, within a few days, I had an apartment 
we moved into an apartment. I didn't have anything. I didn't have furniture. I didn't have a baby bed. I didn't even have food for my child. But it all was supplied beautifully from friends and family. And then I received furniture from friends. I received a baby bed from friends. I received the most needed things from family. They finally let, discharged us from the hospital and I was like, oh my goodness, I get this baby all to myself. This fragile little human being. I hadn't really been around um, babies on my own, you know. It wasn't like she was a baby doll and you could just, okay, I'm done playing and I can put, put her away. I had to take care of her. She depended on me. It was exhausting, you know, because babies are up all hours of the night. Just all these questions and I had no one to answer them. And Shannon was, he was there, but he was a man. He didn't, he didn't even know. We're, we're growing together. We're learning together. It was just all new to us. And um, he was a real good father. He would get up and help feed her. And even though he had to go to work the next day, he would do that. But it would have been nice to have <laughs> a female around to talk to about things that I needed um, answers to. I was still just lacking something during my pregnancy. I will say that during my pregnancy I kept lacking something and I kept feeling something that was like a pulling and I can't under I can't make anyone else understand what that means except for just to say that it was a pulling. It was like I was being pulled to something. That pulling is what gave me hope, and that, that pulling led me to church. Whenever I had my baby, I kept going to church, and um, that pulling was the Lord, and I know it was the Lord. It was Jesus just saying, I'm right beside you, and that's that's the beauty of, of, of this. I moved in my apartment, and I actually got a job. He was 17 days old when I went to work, work at my job. I was going to, I was actually going to school to be a nurse. Um, a lot of tough times, tough, tough times for me. Um, now, telling the story about it, it seems kind of like those were the times that I was learning. You know, that's the times that I learned a lot. You know, God was grooming me to be a mother, and that's exactly what He was doing during those times. So. I, I never knew I could love a, ch a, a person as much as I loved my child. If there had been a set apart when I was 16 years old, that would have been a blessing. Um, it would have been amazing because I would have been able to come in and take classes on all the stages of childbirth. and have understanding and the best part would have been they would have offered me a mentor and I would have been able to have a grown woman who had been through it would be able to tell me all the things that I'm going through and I'd be able to have someone to confide in and talk with and just uh, having someone that was a woman that I would felt like loved me and was there for me. I would have just, that would have been so much better, so much easier. Going back and knowing how scared I was and how fearful it was to have a baby and, and not know what how I was gonna raise him, it all fell into place. It all just turned out just the way it should and my prayers were answered. And I think that is exactly what Set Apart is is answers to many people's prayers for people that might have many questions during pregnancy, many fears during pregnancy, just being scared of what their future looks like. But it's the most beautiful thing to be a mother. It's, it's a gift that God designed perfectly for us and I'm so thankful for, for just my role as a mother. But in uncertain times, it's scary, and I get it. I totally get it. But I think that I am so thankful that we have set apart, and we have the people that work at set apart, and the people that donate their time and want to help others. Um, whenever you have the, whenever you have the, so many questions.
and I would have sure been on the doorstep if it if it had been here then for me. So 